The first step is to attach the mounting plate to a flat, stable surface. If mounting on or near metal, a spacer is recommended for optimal read performance. Secondly, wire the reader. They come with either a pigtail or a terminal strip. It is important to wire the reader correctly to avoid the possibility of causing it any damage. Thirdly, secure the reader to the mounting plate by hooking the top of the reader to the top of the plate and gently pushing it home so that it can be secured with the supplied screw. Lastly, power up the reader. It will beep and the LED will flash. Test it by presenting a card or device containing a valid credential. The reader will again beep and the LED will flash. Depending upon how a reader is ordered, it may either have a pigtail cable or terminal connections. Terminal connections are clearly marked on the back of the reader. The physical characteristics of the terminal connections in Signo readers have been redesigned to be flush with the back of the reader. This means that a terminal connection reader can be mounted directly onto a surface without the need for a spacer, as was the case with previous reader families. The pigtail relies on color coding of the individual wires to define their function. The next few slides will describe connections using the pigtail. The vegan protocol has been used in physical access control systems for many years. The minimal connections required for this protocol are two wires for power and two wires for data. The red and black wires are used for power and the green and white wires for data. The green wire is known as data zero and the white as data one. The four wires used for power and data will only provide basic operation for a signal reader. If additional reader functionality is required beyond just sending card information to the control panel, supplementary wires will need to be connected. By default, the reader's red LED is on until a card is presented, which causes the green LED to illuminate. If required, the LEDs can be operated by the controller, perhaps displaying green when a door is unlocked and entry doesn't require a card. To enable the control panel to operate the green LED, the orange wire should be connected. Similarly, the red LED may be operated by connecting the brown wire. Beeper behavior is configured according to the customer order or later in the field using Reader Manager. Most often, it is configured to make a sound when a card is presented. In some cases, the controller may be required to operate the beeper. To enable this, the yellow wire should be connected. The parking hold wire is connected to outside control equipment that is typically wired to an induction loop. The equipment is connected so that the parking hold wire is grounded and the reader disabled until a vehicle is positioned where the driver can present their car to the reader. The blue wire is used when the parking hold or vegan hold feature is required. On HID signal readers, the hold control is multiplexed with the blue LED control line and may be optionally used to activate the blue LED on the reader. To use this function, reconfigure the reader and ground the blue LED control line. Signo readers offer a new and improved method for tamper detection and reporting. Unlike previous generation readers, Signo readers do not utilize an open collector, but have a dry contact relay for controlling other downstream devices, which can be used in conjunction with the tamper sensor. The mounting plate has a post which aligns with the reader mounted sensor. If the reader is removed from the plate, a tamper alert can be sent to the controller. With a pigtail, the violet and the violet white wires are used to connect the relay to the controller. In normal operation, the relay is closed. Open indicates a tamper situation. The relay supports a current of up to 100 milliamps. The relay one terminal connection is equivalent to the pigtail violet wire and relay two equivalent to the violet white wire. Relay nodes one or two can be connected to ground as the relay is isolated or dry. If one relay node is ground, the controller tamper port should be active high or pull up. When a reader is installed in a mounting plate, relay nodes one and two are short circuited i.e. tamper port equals low. The OSDP protocol uses the same red and black wires for power as the vegan protocol. The only data wires required are the HDXA green wire, known as data zero when using vegan, and the HDXB white wire, known as data one when using vegan. Functions that required separate wires with the vegan protocol, such as LED control, beeper control, and tamper, are all handled by the two OSDP data wires. The only other wire that may be necessary is the blue parking hold wire. This is because traditionally parking hold is wired directly to the reader. 